Hi everybody and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing like a little unboxing video. Uh, this pen arrived in the mail yesterday. I've not yet opened it. I've just taken it out of the external envelope. Uh, and it is Lamy Studio, uh, the sort of the LX version, which is the all black for this year, uh, 2019. So let's have a look at it. I'm gonna uh, open it up, I'm gonna have a look. I'm gonna do a quick writing sample. I'm gonna ink it first and then do a quick writing sample and to see what it's all about. But very quickly, just to sort of more or less to show you guys. So cardboard sleeve, um, the sort of typical one of the typical Lamy uh, little sort of clamshelly uh, boxes. Um, it's like, I'm not sure if it's magnetic, I think it's just sort of latched onto the little Lamy logo there on the top. And we open it up, and we have the like the instruction booklet and catalog y sort of thing, which, if you're interested in that, so like a gel. Uh, the Lamy cartridge which comes with all these pens of course and the pen itself here in a uh, plastic sleeve uh, with a little tag underneath the clip which I will just remove the famous Lamy Studio clip aeroplane aeroplane uh, propeller clip there's the branding and here is the pen so let's just remove this box so we can get a good clear view of this pen um, Beautiful matte black, um, black sort of metal trim, which is nice, uh, but this matte black is beautiful and it's smooth. Uh, I've only got one other studio, which was last year's, one of last year's sort of special edition ones, the, uh, the um, Terracotta, I think it's called, which I really, really like. Uh, but the issue with this pen, one of the issues is, and the issues with this pen in general, is the metallic uh, metal grip there, which becomes quite slippery. But I believe, that has been changed for this edition. Let's have a look. So pop the cap off, just the uh, friction fit cap. And we have a black section. Yeah, that looks, that's like plastic. Almost sort of like a rubbery sort of plastic. That's very nice in the hand. And I like the size of Lime Studio. And although that clip is gonna be um, problematic for some people, like it's incredibly functional. It's just a lot of people just don't like the look of that clip, and that's completely understandable. It is a very sort of unique design, but Lamy have never hidden away from sort of unique designs, things like their clips. Um, but that is a really nice sort of feeling in the hand, that pen. It's nice, good. Okay, uh, there we have the fine all black sort of nib there, the nib that comes on the, the LX pens. It's good. This is a cartridge converter uh, pen, of course. Uh, and as we've, already, ooh, as we've already stated, sorry, uh, the cartridge comes a cartridge comes with the pen. I'm not going to use that. Um, I know it's supposed to use a Z27, but I've just got a regular uh, converter here, which fits the pens, I believe, as well. So lock that down in. And uh, I will ink this up, and then we'll do a writing sample now. Uh, just a very quick cover of some of the sort of parts. It tapers from the section down to the end of the pen there, the, the finial there. Nice sort of section that tapers once again. Small standard sort of uh, Lamy nib which can be swapped out. And the clip, as I said, is sort of just a click cap. Uh, but a good sort of nice sturdy clip. That's the only branding. And you've got the, uh, the pocket clip there, of course. Uh, I'm not going to go over size and all that sort of stuff with the pen because well, you can watch my review of the Lamy Studio, which I'll link down below for all that sort of information. I just wanted to show you the all black version, which I think is rather cool. So I'm going to ink this up and I'll be back in just a second. Okay, I have inked this with Lamy uh, Black, just the regular Lamy Black ink. Um, I really like Lamy Black and this is an all black Lamy pen, so I thought, why not? So as I said, I got this in the fine nib. I've got lots of mediums. Uh, and broads from Lamy, so I thought I do like to use fines occasionally for uh, lesser quality paper perhaps. This is Clairefont 90 gram uh, Clairefontaine paper, so the quality of this paper is never in question, uh, but it was, it's always good to have sort of a variety of nibs in your collection, so I got this one. So what we have here is the Lamy Studio LX. 2019 all black so this is a fresh inking so you are going to get sort of a slightly wetter writing experience Lamy nibs aren't always 
the wettest uh, on the market, but this is very smooth and very, very smooth for a fine. Um, obviously, this is just sort of like a first impressions unboxing, so I'm not going to review the pen. I have, as I said, I have reviewed the Lamy Studio before, and I've used many Lamy fine nibs. Uh, well, the ones I have many times at least. <laughs> um, and this is a, a really lovely smooth nib. Lamy nibs are good. They are well sort of tested. They're well, you know, made. They're they're reliable. That's the best thing. They're reliable and consistent. Although sometimes the width of the nib uh, can differ depending on, um, you know, the different sorts of makes of the nib. And the, like the nib that comes on the 2000 is a different beast altogether. Uh, but these ones, rather nice. I'm very happy and I love the look um, of this pen. The all black studio is gorgeous. Uh, and I think it's it's a it's a model of pen that I really like and I'm a big fan of sort of all blacked out pens like just right here on my desk is the uh, the Aurora Talentum which is coming up for review soon um, in there that's their sort of their all black so I am a fan of all black pens uh, and this one's nice and that change from the metallic section to this sort of rubbery plastic section which the grip is you know a lot nicer that's a lovely change so this is my first look at the Lamy uh, Studio All Black. Hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can drop me an email, which is listed down below, or comment on any of my videos here. If there are products you think I should be looking at, let me know, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, Enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.